name is Rhonda Hubbard, and this is my husband, Jim. We manage and operate the harvest, production, and marketing activity of Cruza Fisheries, LLC, and JNR Fisheries. Jim is the captain of this 59 and a half by 24 foot wide freezer longliner and catcher vessel that harvests halibut and ground fish from the Canadian border in southeast Alaska to the Bering Sea. The Kruzov predominantly fishes 50 to 100 miles offshore. The fishing method on the Kruzov involves anchoring two to four miles of line to the bottom of the ocean floor with baited hooks attached and spaced 42 to 48 inches apart. Depths to the ocean floor may range from 300 to 2400 feet depending on what I am fishing for. Each end of the bottom line is set with an anchor attached with a lighter line to a buoy and a floating flagpole to mark the ends of the set gear. The cruise off is equipped with a Mustad auto baiting system which automatically cuts and baits each hook as the vessel is in motion setting the long line. Depending on the fishery, season and location, herring, squid, pollock, mackerel, salmon, or cod are all used for bait. Based on my judgment of the fishing grounds, tides and weather, I will leave the gear in the water for two to five hours with hopes of attracting our target species. In this case, it will be sable fish and incidental catches of red rock fish. When the gear is ready to haul, the flag pole and bag are manually brought aboard. The line to the anchor is then laced through two heavy-duty turning plates of steel, known as a hauler. After the anchor is aboard and put away, we begin hauling the ground line of baited hooks. We keep the fish we want and release the species we don't want back to the ocean alive. The harvested species are put through a live bleeding process. headed, gutted, cleaned, and size sorted. After hauling the set aboard, which normally takes two to four hours, depending on length and no hang-ups, it's time to pan up the fish, her size and species, and then load them in the freezer. The freezer plates contact with the pan fish and are left to flash freeze for at least four hours to a core temperature of minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. After the freezing phase, the product is removed from its pans, glazed and placed in a polyfiber bag, and stowed below deck in a holding freezer. The catching, process, and freezing aspects of the operation will repeat itself daily or until the allotment of fish we are allowed to catch in that regulatory area is harvested. During the fishing trip, Jim is consistently monitoring and analyzing his set areas, bait usage, and production figures. Along with selected crew, he spends ample time documenting information in designated logbooks, daily production, and landing reports that are required by state and federal agencies for management and enforcement purposes. While fishing, and just prior to its offload, I have communicated with the vessel several times via sat phone and email, gathering catch information on the trip. With this information, I make preparations with shipping companies and logistics services, and prepare a detailed offload plan for the vessel that meets specific orders for a variety of domestic and international customers. Depending on the sales channel, our product may ultimately end up in seafood counters at grocery stores, be reprocessed into a fancy smoke product, or ship direct to people's homes, to local farmers markets, or be featured on the menus of higher end restaurants. We hope you enjoyed our fishing trip and the journey of our catch. If interested in receiving our product, you are welcome to contact us via our website at jrfisheries.com. See you there.